Hello and welcome to KK's Quilt Studio. My name is Marilyn and I'm here today to do another fun design uh, tutorial in Art and & Stitch. Art & Stitch is a program for long arm quilters. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate a holly border. It was um, sketched out by Donna Estes. She is a friend from Facebook and one of the groups and this is her design. So I have noted that up in my copyright notes that this was her design. I asked her if she wouldn't mind if we actually digitized the design. So let's get started. Uh, first, of course, this is the work table when you open up Art and & Stitch. And I have a new file, new design file up. First thing I'm going to do is bring down some guidelines. So if you go up to your ruler bars and left click, you can drag down uh, design guideline. And I want to stay at about four inches square. So I'm going to drag down two lines and drop them at, you see I use the rulers here, two and minus two at the bottom. If you want to drag them over from the sides, you can do that as well. So these guidelines do not show up in your final work, but are just there to guide you. So if I'm not going to do both lines. I can stay pretty much. I am just going to use my top and my bottom because that's where I want the design to repeat. Um, so I, this one is the most important, the one here at the bottom. Go over to my three-point arc. And unlike last time, I brought in some clip art. This time I'm just going to freehand a design. So um, with the three point arc, it's always counting to your out loud or to yourself, sing a happy song, one, two, three. And on the third click, you get a curve. So in the next is two and three and two, and three. And you'll see what I'm doing is tracing out a holly leaf for the holly border. And come back to about the beginning point. We want to do a center line. And you can come right back over top of where you were. And I want to do a little curlicue here. It's okay if I go out and around because these designs I want to interconnect. Three. And now we're ready to turn around and go back. So it's two. I want to loop across over. Three two and three and two and three two and whoops and I've lost count and a wild, a wild curve so if I use my um, backspace key, I can erase those and go back. That would be my three, and then two, and three, and two, and three. 
and right click or I could also go up here to the select key and stop the inputting of the tool. Okay, so we have a holly leaf design and that pretty much was the design that she had done um, in the demonstration online, the free motion quilting demonstration. Um, but I wanted to add um, a little bit more to it. I thought, oh, I've got some space down here. Let's add some berries. So um, let's zoom in and get down to that area. I'm using the navigator portion over here. I can, of course, use um, also there are zoom tools here on the left, a magnifying glass. I like the navigator to draw me right in to where I want to go. I can use the slider to drag further. Okay, so I want to add berries. If I need to, if I feel I can't draw a shape, I can use the shape tools. And if you click a little bitty arrow from down below, there is a pop out task toolbar. And uh, you see I can do all these shapes. I can choose a circle. Um, let's change colors. So I can use it as a backdrop tool and draw an ellipse and trace around it. I chose not to do it. I chose to do some berries freehand. So I will do that. And I just hit my delete key on my computer and it goes away. So let's again use three point arc tool. Now I want to tie this in. I'm going to do these berries separate. It was kind of a afterthought at first. Um, so I'm going to show you a technique how we tie them in. So let's start fairly close. And I'm going to draw a set of three berries. And I want this little you see, I've left this sticking out. I want that for, I'm doing that for a reason. And I will explain later on why I'm doing that. With the three point arc tool, the uh, berries are fairly easy to draw. So that's the reason I. I'm doing these freehand. And I'm going a little bit below my guidelines, but that's okay. And we'll stop there. And if I want to come back and reshape any of these, I can use this tool. Um, if I don't like this, this looks like a kind of sloppy circle and he's got a little dimple here. You can change these points by right clicking. Um, change this is currently a cusp point. Change it to smooth and it'll sort of round that out a little bit. 
if I left click on that point, I can sort of reshape the circle, drag, drag points out. You'll also see I get some little handles here. So I can change the way lines lay, lay way lines curve, just by clicking on those Bezier tools. So let's skip ahead. Um, here's a design I've worked up before, and you'll see these are my these are berries, similar to what we've drawn before, and we're going to go back to our holly leaf, and you'll see we came in here and this is going to be our connect point. I did this on purpose. So um, we're going to right click and we're going to split the line and Now you'll see we have two lines. We're going to bring them up close to our other points. And I'm going to space bar out, select my whole design, oops, grab the, grab the line there, uh, by left clicking, holding down, drawing out, I can select my whole design, and now our connect objects tool lined up, so that connects them up, we're going to zoom not zoom out, zoom back in. Back down to our area. And we're going to bring these points back together again. And this is where we need to do a little math. Do a little reconstruction. We can bring the points in. You see we have a whole cluster of points here. We can also delete points. We right click. on the point that we want to remove. You get the menu to delete the point. Left click on delete the point and you see we're getting a little smoother transition. I'm going to get rid of this point. up here. I'm going to add a point. You can take away points and add points back in. I'm going to add a smooth point and pull that out. Bring this one in. Pull this one out. There. So we step out and that will give you an idea of what I've done in new improved design. Thank you, Donna, for giving us this great idea to uh, share with everyone today. 
And if you'd like to see a repeat, we'll go to our repeat tool. We want to do this in a border, so we only need one down. We want to make it a little bit closer, the horizontal di excuse me, distance. So I'll use a negative number to draw them closer together. And if we want to see more, there is what our design is going to look like when we set it out. And that's our holly berry border. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video. Please subscribe to our channel so you can see all the new fun things that we can do with Art and Stitch. Mm -hmm.